guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today is, today's video is a makeup tutorial with the Morphe 39A palette, the Dare to Create palette. And as the palette's name, I think I, I think I dare to create today. <laughs> what do you guys think? Um, this is definitely a look I would go out with. I love this pinky, orangey, um, mixed with the golden shades and the highlight and I mean you have to be colorful and switch things up and just have fun with the makeup and that is what we are gonna do today I hope you do enjoy this kind of look and uh, if you want to see how I did this then just keep watching <clears throat> okay so let's jump right into it so first of all um, at the moment, my skin is pretty, it feels pretty good. It's not oily or so. And therefore, I am going to use the Smashbox uh, Primer Oil. And after that, for foundation, we're going to use the Revlon Color Stay. And this one is for the combination to oily skin. I also have the other one, normal to dry skin. And I did a video when I compared the two of them just to know like if it's actually a difference and if it's worth like spending money on each and one of them or if it's just you know enough to buy one of them and I have them in two different shades and the other one for normal, normal to dry skin is a little bit um, too light for me right now so that is why I'm using this one for the combination to oily skin but I do not have oily skin right now and that is why I'm using the primer oil. Whew, that was a lot of rambling. I'm just gonna apply this like this. And like two drops, I guess. It's like the perfect amount of what you need. Mm. And I just have to comment right now, the brows, like I have no makeup on whatsoever right now. And the brows, um, they actually, I mean, okay, they are maybe almost gone. But the uh, brow tattoo from Maybelline that I did like in my last video, I did a review on that one and tested it out for the first time. And I actually really liked it. Um, the color came off like perfect for uh, my hair color as well and it matched pretty good and I mean it was a good product. I will be reusing it. I don't know if I will repurchase it but I will definitely use it again. Moving on to foundation, the Calm Color Stay. I'm just gonna give it a little shake. I like always um, shaking my foundations before I use them. And to buff that into my skin, I'm gonna use my white sticks from Morphe. Hmm, it's still a little lighter than my skin tone, but it's okay. We can darken that up with some bronzer later. And like wherever I need like a little bit more coverage, like on my chin area right here, I'm not um, doing these swirling motions. I am kind of stippling it onto my skin. Just to give that a little bit more coverage wherever you need it. Okay guys, something like that. Now I'm gonna go in with my Fit Me Concealer from Morphe. No, with my Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline. And applying these under my eyes to cover those dark circles and brighten. And what I like to do is I like to go a little bit up in here as well. And to buff that into my skin, I'm going to keep using my Y6. Just like that. 
Now to set that all into place, I'm gonna use my woo, <laughs> mm, compact powder from Maybelline. This one's called Pure Plus. And this one's also antibacterial. I'm just gonna use this little pad it comes with. I do use this all over my face, but the under eye area for that instead, I'm gonna go in with the Mineral Veil from Bare Minerals. And this is um, a finishing powder that looks like this. And what I like to do, I like to take some out to the lid, take a smaller brush and Set that under eye area. And this does not only set the concealer, but it also brightens that area. And then I just go in a little bit with the brush and kind of finish, making some finish touch ups. Okay. Moving on to brows. Today I'm gonna use the Brow Definer by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this one is in the color taupe. Everything taupe when it comes to brows for me. Just because I'm blonde and that is what works best for me. And this one comes with a spoolie on the one side and the actual product on the other. It looks like this. I've used this two or three times, so it's not that sharp as it was from the beginning. And when I do my brows, I like to start by dragging one line under my brows, and then one not from the um, not from the very beginning, but a little bit in and I kind of do these dragging motions that go upwards to make it look more natural and then you can switch to the spoolie side and I'm brushing through to get that more natural look okay so let's move on to the eyes. Today's makeup tutorial is about the Dare to Create um, Morphe palette. It's the 39A. And I haven't been using that this palette that much lately. And it has, I mean, a whole bunch of different um, shades in it. So I felt like I do want to use that again. So I'm gonna go in with Bare, tap off the excess, and use this as a transition shade. Then I will go in with this color in the middle, and this one's called Define Me. And I'm gonna place that into my crease as well. I've been kind of enjoying all these makeup looks with um, oranges and pinks in it. So I think I will use the this uh, shade right there. I feel like um, on camera it does come out a little bit darker, a little bit darker, eventually more on the um, purpley side, but it's really uh, pinkish in the pan in reality. So we'll see how it will come out on the eye. And what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna go in with my finger, pick up some product, wow. And this color is called Create. So it's kind of what today's vibe is all about. 
creating. Oh yes, can you see that pigment? <gasps> okay. Okay, I really do like it. So I'm gonna place this all over my lid. Ooh, I did get a little fallout. So let's hope I can just easily swipe that away later. Actually, just for insurance, I'm gonna kind of bake my under eye area with the uh, Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Powder so that I won't mess up my foundation. And when we pack on product like that, it will make it easy later just swipe everything away. It's beautiful. I really, really love this color. Now I'm actually going to go over to a really small pencil brush so that I can get into the corners without messing up my under eye area. Like that. Now I'm going to take a bigger pencil brush. This one's also by Morphe. It's the M574. And then I'm gonna go in with Define Me again. It was the middle orange shade we used as a transition. And I'm going over that to smooth and even everything up. Okay, so I really do like this look, you guys. I don't know. What do you think? What should we do for the lower lash line? What do you guys think? As if you could answer me. But, hmm. Uh, uh, I actually do like this green one. Maybe that will be like too much color. Or the blue one. Hmm. Or... I think I'm gonna go in with this shimmery. It's called Trendy, and I'm gonna go in with that same small pencil brush, and it might have um, some of the pinky shade left on it, so it will kind of be kind of like a mix. And I'm actually gonna mix it with this color called artistic also oh i just got plenty of it into my eyeball so let's wipe away and clean up the under eye area I just got plenty into my hair. Okay. Hmm, I think I'm gonna switch brushes. Okay. Perfect. Perfect and flawless, you guys. So, moving on to liner. I'm gonna do a winged liner today just because it's a pretty dramatic eye look. And for a dramatic shadow look, we need a dramatic wing. Oh, so I'm using the Master Precise uh, Liquid Eyeliner by Maybelline. And this one's a felt tip. I do like this one because I feel like it dries down uh, matte black. Okay, 
Okay, now I'm just real quick gonna do some mascara and apply some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so to the final steps of this makeup look, I'm gonna use this uh, LA Girl. Uh, this is a blush and highlight and bronzer palette all in one. So first of all, I'm gonna bronze up my whole entire face. And I'm using that with a big fluffy brush and using this bronze color right there. And giving some warmth to my whole face. And you don't have to be kind of careful with this because it does not have like crazy much pigment, the bronzer. So you can go in with a little bit more rough hand. Now I'm gonna use that same color to kind of contour my face and give it a little bit more definition and shape. jawline a little bit under my lips to give it a little bit more plumpier impression around my temples up to my forehead and the nose of course And over to blush. Should I do this? This one almost does look like my eyeshadow. I think I'm gonna go in with this one though. Because, well, I mean, they are crazy pigmented. I don't know if I dare. Ooh, easy. Right there. Uh, yeah, nah. I need to wipe some up on my hand first. I'm kind of placing it to the apples of my cheeks and dragging it upwards, like up to my ears. And I'm actually not gonna use this one because the highlighter in this one, um, it looks, it is a little bit um, chunky. I don't like how it looks on my face. It kind of looks like small glitters and I don't want that so i'm actually gonna reach for my master chrome from maybelline this one is in the color molten gold and i think like pinks and purples goes beautifully with golds a little bit of my temples the bridge of my nose cupid's bow and the inner corners of my eye. And you can go in a little bit under your brow bone. And to outline my lips, I'm gonna go in with a pink shade. This one's by uh, Sleek Makeup and it is Red Sky Night 324. There we go. And for lips, I'm gonna use the Color Drama Velvet Intense Velvet Lip Pencil by Maybelline. This one is in the color 130 Love My Pink. look you guys um it is definitely a 
different one. I mean, I really love the eyes, the pink and mixed with a little bit of orangey in the transition and the gold, uh, like the golden highlight. Everything completes each other like perfectly and I, I'm really in love with it. I could definitely do this eye look. Maybe I wouldn't pick a this uh, pinky shaded lip color. Maybe something more to the kind of nudish orangey side. But I will definitely go out with this look. I really, really love it. It's fun. It's colorful. It's different and you know you need to dare this uh, makeup tutorial was about uh using the morphe dare to create palette and as the palette's name i think i did it <laughs> what do you guys think let me know in the comment sections below um thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye